Congratulations, class of 2020. We're now officially MIT alumni. Let that feeling of pride and accomplishment sink in. You deserve every bit of it. We've officially turned our brass rats and all over the world, alumni are welcoming us as the newest class to join this incredible, talented and better world making community. Our friends in the MIT Alumni Association have captured several special messages of congratulations. Let's take a look. Dear class of 2020. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations class of 2020. You made it. You made it through MIT. It's a massive achievement to graduate from MIT. Enjoy it. Celebrate it. Yay! Mazal tov. You guys should be really proud of everything you've done so far. Turn those rats around. You guys are alums now. I look forward to what you will do both on this planet and perhaps off. Your MIT degree is going to take you places that in your wildest dreams you never could have imagined. It opens doors, keeps doors open, and is respected by all you will meet. You are the architects of your future. Wear your brass rat with pride. Use what you have learned in your innate talents to reach for your goals and make the world a better place. We'd planned on dressing up in our spiffy red blazers and marching with you in your commencement, but events got in the way and we're stuck at home. Our final semester too was disrupted, as is our reunion. We survived and you will too, your MIT graduates. Wherever you go in the world, you'll be part of a community of MIT alumni. I'm sure you've already realized that MIT's greatest attribute is not the place itself, but the people. The connections and inspiration of an MIT education continue. I hope you'll find your home in this amazing alumni community. And I can tell you I'm wearing my original sweatshirt uh, from 1994, my freshman year. I brought it the coop. And just like the sweatshirt, the memories of MIT and all your friends will last as well. Congratulations to all the graduates and your families, and may the force be with you. Elf mabruk, muwaffaeen. Congratulations, class of 2020. Welcome to the MIT alumni family. 2020, Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to the MIT alumni family. Welcome to the MIT alumni family. Welcome to being an MIT alum. Yeah. The scenery behind me is fake, but there's nothing fake about the enthusiasm with which we welcome you, the newest MIT alumni. Congratulations. Wow, thank you MIT alumni from around the globe. We're honored to be your peers, to contribute our talents to this amazing network and to learn from your experience and legacies as alumni. Did you know that with the class of 2020, the number of living MIT alumni is now more than 141,000 people? Can you believe that, Yate? I don't think it's lost on any of us in the class of 2020 that we're part of a community that has and continues to have a transformative, positive impact on all aspects of society. This next video captures some of the MIT innovations that have made a better world for all of us, from aerospace to the World Wide Web and beyond. Okay, so what if there were no MIT? Well, then there also might not be an internet, or email, or ethernet, or a place for all those digital things you like to store in some cloud. You'd also have to give up holograms, a spreadsheet, 3D printing, GPS, and those cool computer-generated explosions in some of our favorite movies you'd need to give back X-ray, handheld calculators, disposable safety razors, secure online shopping, HGTV, Optogenetics, the Solar House, microprocessors, Jack Flory, and well, there'd be a whole lot less biomedical engineering. Theoretically speaking, we're going to need to forget Theory X, Theory Y, Chaos Theory, Black Shoals, Little's Law, Quarks, Computational Origami, Modern Meteorology, and Linguistics. There'd be way less artificial intelligence, and for that matter, a whole lot less real intelligence as well. You need to do without the queen of carbon science, the father of modern economics, and the leaders of the European Central Bank, banks of Israel, Chile, Cyprus, India, England, and the US Federal Reserve. 
we will need to eliminate some languages like Java and C Sharp. Forget about text speech recognition. Erase your texts and assume your phone is no longer as smart. We may as well go back to the first machine age. Who would miss out on the first African American architect? And there would be so much to unimagine and undesign. Rockefeller Center, the Lincoln Memorial, and that cool glass pyramid at the Louvre. We need to put an X through edX, MITx, and MIT Open Courseware, which would help to uneducate over 100 million people and delete that online education revolution. By the way, we're also going to need to give up our national water quality standards and sewage treatment. We'll unlaunch nine flights to the moon, six lunar landings, three manned Skylab missions, and the future of space travel. There goes our understanding of nanoscale and our ability to see through brains. We'd have to unmap much of the human genome. We no longer have the first woman to chair the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission. As a side note, we need to give up the DC-9, DC-10, F-15, printable robots, biomechatronics, liquid metal batteries, artificial skin, rayon, radar, metallurgy, solid-state transistors, CT scans, and condensed soup. Of course, this is just a partial, partial list. An actual list would be exponentially longer and ever-growing. But fortunately, we don't have to give progress back. MIT is here. Our ideas never stop. And our ability to innovate is infinite. That's incredible. All I can say is that I can't wait to see what the class of 2020's additions to that list will be. It's just more proof of how amazing the MIT experience has been. Now that we've graduated, what do you think is the most useful thing that you learned at MIT? You know, Yate, for me, it was learning the importance of interdisciplinary collaboration. What about you? I learned that you can't solve every problem alone. So it's important to be independent, but not isolated. I can't believe I'm saying this, but thank you, PSETs. Now, let's hear from some alumni about the most useful things that they've learned. The most useful thing I learned at MIT is, well, it's hard to say there was one most useful thing. I, I've learned so many things, so that's... Uh, is like 10 seconds okay? Or yeah, like, yeah. Okay. They're back there making faces, uh, and I'm like... I... When, do I, when do I start talking? Okay. <laughs> The most useful thing I learned at MIT was staying all night to work. Having fun while doing work. How to work, how to work, and how to work again, and how to work a little bit longer. There's no way you can possibly know everything that you need to know, but what you can do is identify when you don't know something. Anything I did after MIT was easy. The most useful thing I learned at MIT was how to ask for help. How to set up Gmail filters. Critical thinking. Humility. Time, time management. Time management. Sure. Economic order quantity. And what is that? It's a formula that you use to uh, minimize your stock level while optimizing your demand fulfilling. The most salient thing I learned at MIT from Professor Dave Wallace in uh, 2009 was if you haven't tested it, it doesn't work. I learned so much by osmosis just from being around this community. The people that I met here was like, Are you being interviewed? Yeah, come on. Do you, you want to be part Dolan, of the video? Dolan, what was the most important thing you learned at MIT? The most useful thing I learned at MIT was perseverance and not to let anybody tell you that you cannot do something. Do you trust your instinct, but verify with data? To have patience to solve a problem. The most useful thing I learned at MIT is ingenuity. That you cannot answer all the questions. What's really important is learning how to frame the questions. To find your community and rely on your niche. You take care of your cohort, they'll take care of you. I learned how to like wait to the last minute but still somehow like you know get things done also. Yeah. The importance of love and friendship. I met so many lifelong friends here, my husband. And now hopefully my little baby will someday come to MIT and know the love that I have for it and the love that you can find here. And uh, yeah, it was good. <laughs> there you have it. I could definitely relate to some of those. Yeah, I definitely had some 11.59 PM submissions, but hey, <laughs> we made it. That video got me thinking about all the MIT-isms we share. 
This next video celebrates all our quirky inside traditions and language. You know you went to MIT if... 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 Everything else in life seems far easier than uh, being at MIT. <laughs> took a lot of hard work, but it, but it was well worth it. You know you went to MIT if your math is better than your spelling. If you measure distances in smoots. You know what the letters IHTFP mean. You went chairing in the tunnels. This piece of gold on your ring finger. Always looking back, looking back. <laughs> IAP spells fun. When you walk across the Harvard Bridge a million times in the cold, cold winter. If you know what the numbers 501, 801, and 1801 mean, then you will never forget them. If you know what drinking out of a fire hose feels like. When the power goes out in your apartment, you shout, LSC sucks! You know you went to MIT. If hacking means something different to you than the rest of the world. You've watched the sunrise over Boston because of homework assignments, not just because you wanted to. If you are able to be a biologist that dances and can express themselves no matter what they do, no matter who they are. You know you went to MIT if you've met super passionate people who want to change the world. I love that video. Even though I've only been an alum for like two minutes, I can already see my own experiences reflected there. Agreed. I've loved being a part of this inspiring and driven community. Being around like-minded people has helped me to develop as an individual in turn. MIT has empowered us all to use our minds, hands, and hearts to contribute something meaningful to this community and to our various communities around the globe. The MIT Alumni Association has come up with a cool way to honor that, with the MIT Community Mosaic. This coincides with another important MIT tradition, tech reunions, which, like commencement, have gone virtual this year. Let's take a look. The Mosaic is a collection of thousands of MIT photos that highlight the many faces, places, and traditions that make up our one institute community. Class of 2020 grads, like us, can be part of a mosaic too by uploading a photo of your flip brass rat or a photo of you on campus or really anything that says me at MIT to you. Thousands of photos will be put together to make up an amazing illustration of the great film. Well, there are a few ways that you'll be able to participate. You can upload your photos directly to the community mosaic page at mosaic.mit.edu. You can post to Instagram and Twitter using the hashtags hashtag one MIT and hashtag tech reunions, or you can reply to the community mosaic post on the MIT Alumni Association Facebook page. I've already uploaded mine. Have you? Uh, no, but I will be doing it right after our next video. Great, because you'll want to see this one. It features our alumni community leadership. For those of you who don't know, the MIT Alumni Association Board of Directors are leading alumni volunteers who steward the global MIT community of alumni. Consider them our alumni representatives. They work closely with the Alumni Association staff here at the Institute, including MIT CEO Whitney Esper, as well as Institute leaders and thousands of alumni volunteers around the world. The association's formal mission is to further the well-being of the Institute and its graduates by increasing the interests of the members in the school and each other. In the last few years, it's shared its bold strategic vision to engage and inspire the MIT global community to make a better world. Now that you've had a crash course in learning about the Alumni Association and its leadership, they have something special to say to all of us. Congratulations, class of 2020, and welcome to the family. Hi, class of 2020. Welcome to the MIT Alumni Association from the class of 1983. Willkommen in die Familie der MIT Alumni. Congratulations to you in the class of 2020. There will be many opportunities for you to continue your involvement with MIT. 
Best wishes. Hello, class of 2020. Welcome to the MIT Alumni Association. We're happy to have you. 恭喜二零二零届嘅新生，欢迎加入 MIT 校友会大家庭。恭喜 ！Congratulations to the class of 2020 on turning your brass rats. Welcome to the MIT Alumni Association. Congratulations! And this is coming from an alum from the class of 1985 in Virginia. Awesome job! Congratulations, MIT class of 2020. Hope you had a great time at MIT. And wishing you all the best for the future. We wanted to offer our congratulations to all of you on your graduation from MIT. And, and welcome, welcome to, to the, the MIT, MIT alumni, alumni family. Congratulations, you made it. I know these are crazy times; it may feel uncertain, but know that you are now part of a worldwide family of MIT alums, and I have all the confidence that you will be successful and make the world a better place. Congratulations on your great achievement. I'd also like to welcome you to the MIT alumni family and encourage you to stay connected. And finally, as you continue on your life journey, please take care of yourself and take care of each other. Go Tech! Earlier, we have a few more greetings from our classmates and faculty that we wanted to share before signing off. We'll start off with a group of 2020 grads who stayed connected yet socially distanced during these past few weeks. My name is Viana Quinnen, and I'm majoring in Course Two Mechanical Engineering with a minor in Four with Design. Hi, I'm Lauren Schechtsnyder. I'm majoring in six three and nine, and I'm also minoring in music. Hi, I'm Iker Cart. I'm majoring in course three. Hi, I'm Arbor Bacali. I'm majoring in six three and twenty one W. Hi, I'm Kyle Dominguez. I'm majoring in course three with a two minor. Hi, I'm Claudia Chen, and I'm majoring in course two and CMS. Hi, I'm Sam Inns. I'm majoring in mechanical engineering. All of us have known each other pretty much the entire time of MIT, so it was really important to us that we finish out this like very difficult achievement that we've been working on together as a group、um, and as a family. I feel like it's been a really, first of all, helpful experience to have each other in this time, and I think we've all been really appreciative of the fact that we've had each other's support. And I also think this has definitely been a different. Type of challenge that we've all had to face together, and being in quarantine is obviously very different from being at MIT. So we've had to learn how to support each other to accommodate that difference. But I think we've all been doing a really good job, and I'm really proud of us. My mom mailed us a bunch of decorations. So we have like 2020 balloons.、Um, we have a sign somewhere around here. We also <laughs> bought grad caps off of Amazon, so we're very stocked up,、uh, and we're ready to, you know, celebrate in style. Let's have some fun. Yeah.、Um, but we'll definitely be tuning into the live stream, obviously,、uh, and just probably FaceTiming a couple of the other friends who. Couldn't be here with us, but we still love and miss very much. This summer, I'm actually going to be working for the mechanical engineering department in the uh, media uh, department, and、uh, after that, I'm going to be going to UC Berkeley for my MEng. I am headed to New York、uh, to start a software engineering job at Palantir in September.、Um, so I'm super excited to move up to New York. And I'm gonna be home in Salt Lake for the next couple months, and then I've got a job in New York.、Uh, I'm also moving to New York <laughs> in July,、um, and I have a software engineering job at.、Facebook. I have no summer plans, but in September I'm starting a PhD at UCSB. I'm moving to Seattle, hopefully, and <laughs> a mechanical engineering job at Microsoft. 
So over the summer, I'm planning on traveling around the U.S. in a converted adventure van and traveling very safely and rurally, uh, but really just having a fun long road trip. I definitely wouldn't have been able to uh, succeed the way I did if it weren't for uh, the friends and the support that I found through uh, MIT communities. Yeah, there's so many people that I know we all love and we miss very much. And so even though it's not exactly how we expected to celebrate graduation, I'm still so proud of us and the people that we've met along the way. And I know that we'll see everyone hopefully very soon. Congratulations to the class of 2020. I want to shout out to my boy, Bebek Pundit. A big shout out to Supply Chain Management Class 2020. Shout out to my MIT EMS fam for the unforgettable memories and being literal lifesavers the past few years. I love you guys so much. Oh, hey there, Class 2020. Uh, I'd like to shout out my Course 20 squad. MIT Bangra and Zeta Beta Tau. Excuse me, Mr. Just Ryan. Shout out to the Supply Chain Management Program. I love you guys so much. I couldn't have asked for a better family. I'd like to shout out my sorority, DeFi I love my sister so much. Thank you to MIT for bringing me my best friend since freshman year. <laughs> I want to give a huge shout out to Jell and McCormick. I want to shout out Mirchi for being more than just a dance team but for really being my family away from home these past four years. To all the Gel 1s, Gel 2s, and staff, thank you so much for an amazing two years. To all my Amba 2020 ghosts, we did it. And to Raul, Flavia, the GRTs, and all my friends. Shout out to the LGOs. Woo, we made it. Sloan Fellows, thank you so much for the wonderful year, and I hope to see you again. No fellow left behind. Woo Todd Merrill, Joseph Sabina, Stephen, Amir Shokini, Alante Dixchu, Stizzy, Layton, Tina, Jasmine, Aral, Rodrigo, Sarah. A huge shout out and thanks to everybody that's a part of the MIT football family. Couldn't have done it without you. I love all you guys. I really miss you and, and I love you and I miss you. <sighs> I just want to give a big shout out to my living group, the Massey LL. I lived in the lower level all four years of MIT. Our GRAs are some of the best people on campus. Joseph and Cassandra throw the best study breaks. Not only am I graduating, but I'm also the proud parent of a graduating senior, my son, Sam Solomon. Hi, I'd like to give a shout out to my fellow classmates in the MIT Supply Chain Master's Program. Shout out to my ECF family, especially the seniors, Wendy, Jackie, Lucy, Grace, Austin, Sally, Christine, Luke, Erica. Cecile, Claire, June, my fake roommate Juan, Mauricio, Sarah, Serena. And also my Massey friend groups, Nova, Tarun, Serena, Jen, and Athena are always making MIT feel like a home for me. Near, far, wherever you are, thank you for an incredible four years. Just want to give a shout out to my fellow 100K managing directors and organizing team for putting on three amazing events. My landmates at the ACL of MIT Alaska, the MIT cheerleading team, my Catalan and Spanish friends, you all know who you are. A shout out to the Indian Ocean and my incredible G-Live team, and also to the Yarn, my favorite event at Sloan. Shout out to New House 3. Variety Sailing Team, to the Little Nine Red Team. A big shout out to the 2020 Caribbean. Hey everyone, I want to give a shout out to everyone on the sailing team, the guys at Zeta Psi, and my friends in Course 10. You guys were the first family I got to know, and I loved meeting everybody, especially to the Caribbean Gannets. Woo! Uh, Anais, Anit, Josh, Paul, Jordan, Starry, um, you guys were a great family, and thank you. I just want to give a shout out to my Mocha family. Um, Mocha Moose has been a part of my life since my freshman year, and I don't know MIT without it. Jay Entry, you've really made my time at MIT what it is. Thank you so much for all the love, support, and all of the amazing memories. I hope there are plenty more to come. I also want to give a special shout out to Jordan. 
Thanks for the last four years, Ted Azum. I wanted to give a shout out to everyone who has helped make MIT Karma happen in the past few years. Thank you to all of you. You are what makes MIT so special. My fellow editors, the brilliant creative staff, the professors who advised us, the departments that funded us. It's been such a joy to work with all of you and put out something as beautiful as Karma every single day. Love you all lots. Congratulations, class of 2020. class of 2020. As you graduate today, I'm very hopeful for the future. I want to tell you that we miss you all very much. In my interactions with you, I've seen your innate desire to make the world a better place. The recovery from the pandemic will be in the hands of an exceptional generation of world citizens. You, the class of 2020, congratulations. Congratulations on your graduation, and we wish you best of luck in the future. To class of 2020, especially Dr. Grace Gong and Dr. Omar Leiben, congratulations. Congratulations to all the 2020 graduates. This is a challenging time for the whole world. I truly believe MIT students like you will lead many fronts in making the world a better place. Congratulations and best wishes. You made it. Hello, this is Bob McCursey sending greetings to Sloan Fellows and significant others. Congratulations, EMBA class of 20. This is Roberto Fernandez sporting a new haircut and reminding you to use your OP powers for good and not for evil. Be safe, everyone. Some special congratulations to Lara Rokochevic a uh, team captain and four-year letter winner for the women's tennis team. You tackled the course this semester with, with gusto, and I really appreciate the enthusiasm. Sorry, I didn't get to say goodbye as the season ended so abruptly. This message is for Connor, Ryan, Franny, Alex, Ethan, Jared, Alonzo, and Maya. I'm gonna take a minute to wish you the best of luck and hope to see you again in the very near future. I would have much preferred finishing the semester with you in person, but speaking for myself, I learned a lot from our conversations over Zoom. I want to congratulate the graduates and I want to thank the parents for lending us their children. Congratulations on your big day and please stay in touch. Thank you. Hi, Ashwari, Beth and Claire, Peter, Allison and Luca. Congratulations to all of the 2020 graduates and best wishes on your next adventures. Best wishes to our Haas PhDs. It's been so much fun to teach you and watch your projects grow and take shape. Take the world in stride as it morphs and transforms before our eyes. Life's a mystery, a wonder, and it's to be enjoyed however it comes. Hello, one of the students. Congratulations, congratulations. And we're talking about Thank you to my parents. Hi, mom, dad, aunt. I want to thank my parents for their support. Who could have imagined that I would be graduating from MIT when we visited when I was maybe 15? I just wanted to thank you for the incredible support you've shown me throughout my journey here at MIT. 
I couldn't have done it without you, and you've been here with me every step of the way. I worked really hard to get into MIT, but I definitely couldn't have done it without you. Uh, 多謝小華就唔使講得咁複雜，不過好多謝你哋俾好多自由去做任何嘅事情，但係都令我知道我有個避風塘可以依靠。Thank you to my amazing wife, parents, in-laws, all my family and friends. Thank you to my family, to mom and dad, to Clark, to Katie. Thank you, mom and dad, for all of the care packages and surprise visits during my time at MIT. I'm thrilled and proud of graduating from MIT, the friends I did in these two years, and the experiences that made me a better version of myself today. To the football team, to my church family, to. All the friends that I've made at MIT along the way. I couldn't ask for better parents, guides, and role models. I could not have done it without you guys. Forever grateful for the help. I love you. Via Chile. Hey mom. Hey dad. Hi, I'm Sofia. Esto es para mami, papá, papi, para mi hermana Rachel, para ustedes. I want to take this chance to thank my parents for always being so supportive to me. For everything, really. For everything that you've done. All the support that you've given me, and all the sacrifices that you've made. Though we are seven thousand miles away from each other, I still want to say again, I love you. Y por supuesto por mi familia en CTC, lo quiero mucho. I owe you everything, so thank you, and I love you. I feel so lucky to have such amazing parents, and I'm so proud to be their daughter. I would like to thank my family for supporting me through what was one of the best years of my life, completing an MBA at MIT. I'd like to thank my parents and grandparents for their support and care th- for me throughout MIT. To my mom, my dad, and my brother, thank you for being there for me. Thank you very much to my father Joseph, my mother Patty, and my sister Ivana. As well as all the professors who have worked hard to make sure I succeed along the way, as well as my GRA. Thanks, mom, dad, Kier, and Kendall for all the support. Namaste. A special shout out to my family and best friends for encouraging me. To come to the Sloan Fellows Program at MIT Sloan. My ups and downs, my highs and lows, through thick and thin, I wouldn't be where I am right now without you guys. Thank you so much. I would like to take this moment to say a huge thank you to my friends and family for all of their support this past year as I've been on my journey at MIT. To my roommate, to my classmates, and friends from across the MIT ecosystem, to my professors, and to the program office. Couldn't have done it without you. I just want to say thanks to all my friends and family who, over the years, have helped me graduate from MIT. Thank you so much for making this year so special for me. Coming to MIT Sloan is life-changing, transformative, and a new birth for me. So thank you so much, and full of gratitude. Thank you to my mom and dad, Lisa and Bob Prasi, for your never-ending love and support. I'd like to thank my family, friends, and colleagues for their support、uh, while I went through the、uh, transformational EMBA program at MIT. Here's a special shout out to my friends and family、uh, for all their support during the years and for making my MIT experience what it is. Hi everyone! I would like to take this opportunity to thank my parents and both my sisters for helping me throughout my time at MIT and throughout my life.、Uh, I would give a special shout out、uh, to my wife,、uh, and I'm really thankful、uh, that the program office and faculty、uh, were with us even at this challenging time. And a big thank you to my mom, who is my biggest role model and supporter. So. Thanks, guys. I could not have done it without them. I love you all very much. Thank you all. Hi from Switzerland. Thank you. I just wanted to thank all my family and friends for all of their support throughout the years. Thank you. I love you all. I would like to thank my parents and family for making this all possible. Thank you, Mom, Dad, and Max. I would like to thank MIT for accepting me, my brother, and my sister, so we could all go to school together. I've grown into a happy and healthy tree thanks to you guys. And finally, I'd like to give a special shout out to Ivan, Sud Five, and Duncan for always being there for me. So thank you so much. This degree officially makes us a family of planners. That's our commencement post show. Remember, now that we're officially MIT alumni, we now have relationships with the institute that will last a lifetime. No matter where we go in the world, we will always have each other. I want to give a thank you to my whole family, especially my mom and dad. 
And thanks again to all of the professors, faculty, and staff at MIT who helped me along the way. I could not have done it without you. And thank you to my amazing MIT community. I feel so honored to be your colleague and friend. And finally, thank you, Yate, for working so hard with me to make this online commencement so special. Congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you all for participating. And I'd like to thank our viewership for tuning in and sharing this moment with us. And also my family for their love and support and my community at MIT. Stay safe, stay healthy, and in the days ahead, stay connected to the MIT Alumni Association and our community.